In this tutorial, we are going to talk about viewports. Many things in 3ds Max have shortcuts, and the shortcuts are pretty much common sense. Not in all cases, but in most cases. Right now, I know I'm in the perspective viewport because on the top left corner here it says perspective. That shows me that I'm in the perspective viewport. I could go to my front viewport by pressing F on my keyboard. That's this front. I could go to left viewport by pressing L. That takes me to the left viewport. I could press T to go to top viewport. However, I can't press R to go to my right viewport because R is already by default assigned to my selection tool. For example, we have back and bottom. If I press B, what's going to happen? Will I go to back or will I go to bottom? I will go to the bottom viewport. So what if I wanted to go to the back viewport or to the right viewport? If you want to use any of those viewports, you can press V on your keyboard, which is for viewport, and you will have this dialog, this menu appearing. You could then go and choose, for example, the right, right viewport. But if you see in, these, in this window, there is a letter which is underlined in each line. So here, F for front, K for back, T for top, B for bottom, L for left, R for right, P for perspective, C for camera. <coughs> However, um, if you press R on your keyboard now, while you have the viewport menu on, it will take you to your right viewport. But if you don't have that menu on and you press R on your keyboard, it will only select your selection tool. <coughs> now, what's the difference between perspective and the other viewports, which we refer to them as orthographic viewports? I'm going to press P to go to back to perspective. And I'm going to show you what that means. If I create a box here, I'm going to select my move tool. I'm going to hold shift and drag in order to create a duplicate or a copy of it. I will move this copy over here. These two boxes have the exact same size and the exact same shape because this is simply a copy of this. Now, in the perspective viewport, the laws of physics, if you like, exist. The law of physics exists in the perspective viewport. As you can see, as this box is closer to me, it seems bigger than this box. And that's what you would expect because this box is closer to the camera, so it should technically look bigger than this. But this law does not exist in your orthographic viewports. If I press F to go to my front viewport, you can see that these two boxes look exactly the same. If I go to my left viewport, you can see that these two boxes look exactly the same even though I know for a fact that one of them is further away from the other one. But in the orthographic viewports, such as front, left, top, right, bottom, back, those viewports do not have that law. You may think to yourself, why do these even exist? They will become much more important um, once you start using 3D Studio Max. Let's say, for example, I wanted to delete these two boxes, actually. Let's create another box the screen like that and let's also create a teapot I'm gonna very quickly change the color of that teapot um, we will talk about all of this in the later uh, upcoming v uh, video tutorials about the modify panel and so on so you don't have to worry about how I just changed the color of this if I wanted to put this teapot on top of this uh, this box I could say I want I think that roughly looks like it's sitting on top of that so that should be okay but is it really sitting on top of it? If I rotate my screen, actually it's not too bad. If I rotate my screen, you can see that it's not exactly touching it. So what I could do, the better option would have been to go, for example, to the front viewport and make sure I push this up, zoom in so until I place this exactly on top of the box and then I could go to my top viewport for example and make sure in the y-axis also this moves and sticks exactly on the, uh, the box 
So now in this case, the teapot is sitting almost perfectly on the box. There are other methods of, of making sure that the teapot sits on the box uh, even better. We'll talk about that in the upcoming tutorials, hopefully.